Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Solutions. New at our channel? Please subscribe to be a part of us. Let's dig in. Do you want to install Arch Linux in just two commands? Are you finding it too hard to install Arch Linux on your PC or laptop? Let's make it easy for you. In this video you will learn how you can install Arch Linux without any errors and tough practices. So shall we start? This tutorial starts at the boot screen of Arch Linux. You must have downloaded the right ISO image of Arch Linux and made a bootable USB out of it with Rufus or Etcher. So let's come back on boot menu. We are doing this install on UEFI compliant PC. So let's boot Arch Linux installer with the first option. So done booting up? Strange black screen? Let's make it easy and simple. You can check internet connectivity using ping command. Internet is enabled and is working normally. Let's download the ArchFi install script using curl from SourceForge. The script will be downloaded quickly. Let's start the ArchFi install script. Let's start with setting language and keyboard layout. We are using English and US as keyboard layout. You can choose yours. You can choose Nano Editor for editing. This is recommended. Select Disk Partition option and select OK to move ahead. Choose Auto Partition, first option. Three partitions will be created automatically. FE, Swap and Root Partition. Choose Edit Partitions just for having a look and remembering the partitions for Boot, Swap and Root. Just quit this screen without making any change. Just get back to select partition and install menu. Choose your boot, swap and root partition in order you created them. Please do this carefully. For our case SDA1 is boot, SDA2 is swap, SDA3 is root. While for home we didn't create any partition. Choose none for home. Select Partitions to install. Choose Format Devices. Format Boot Partition with FAT32FE. Swap File System will be used for Swap Partition. While for Root you can choose ext 4 or Better File System. ext 4 is tested and recommended. Choose this. All three partitions will be formatted as we intended. Optionally you can edit mirror list according to your region. But it's good enough by default. You can use it without any modification. Let's start installing Arch Linux. Use install Arch Linux pack strap option. Choose the Linux kernel option. You can choose Linux as it's the most stable. If you want a recent kernel you can choose Linux Zen. Choose the Linux firmware. You must select this. The default file system is good enough. Nothing need to be added or removed. Clicking OK will start installing the required kernel and Linux firmware files. Have patience during download and install, as this may take some time to install. It's done. Let's configure Arch Linux now. Set a computer host name. Keyboard layout is already set. You can leave local, time and font as well. These can be installed later. Set a root password. Done setting up? Skip the optional things. Select bootloader. Choose grub. First install grub.
Now install boot loader grub install. You must do this carefully. Else your Arch Linux will not boot. Done setting up bootloader? It's time to run the second script. The ArchDI selected and move ahead. ArchD will require two components. Wget and a library. These will be downloaded quickly. Choose install and run ArchD. Choose Source Forge. Start from updates. Install Pac-Man Contra. Now update Curings. Now just install the shown packages or if you want to install your own choice you can install them. If you are finding it difficult to choose you can follow the same as shown in this tutorial. The installation will take some more minutes. So follow the on-screen instructions without skipping. You are near to install Arch Linux.
just have little more patience. It's done. You can reboot your PC now. Arch Linux has been installed successfully. You may use it now. Anything to ask? Comment it. Thanks for watching.